Let's imagine the situation where we have three bars going up in a row, and now we want to find out where the fourth bar will be most likely. Is it going to go up or down? And in this video, we will use Python to find out. To follow this video, you will need some basic understanding of Python and how markets work, and we will also work with the libraries MetaTrader 5, Pandas, and Plotly. So here are the topics for the video. First, we'll request OHOC data from MetaTrader 5, and then we'll visualize the data. After that, we will use pandas to find the three in a row setup, and we'll also calculate the probabilities and number of occurrences of the fourth bar going up or down. And lastly, we will also backtest the profitability of buying these setups. Before we move to our Jupyter Notebook environment, I would like to mention that you can also find and download the code at traderpy.com. Just follow the links in the descriptions below. So we are now in our Jupyter Notebook and first we'll import the libraries MetaTrader 5 to request historical data. We will need Pandas and NumPy for data analysis, Plotly for data visualization, and we'll also work with DateTime to work with DateTap data, and lastly IPython display to show the results of the analysis. So let's run this. So first to connect to MetaTrader 5 platform and receive historical charts, we will use MT5.initialize. And by doing that, we will then be connected to our MetaTrader 5 platform. After we successfully connect, when we see the output true, we can then specify the settings for our testing. And for this video, I decided to use the symbol EURUSD and test the strategy on the weekly time frame. So we use MT5.TimeFrame W1. The period for the test will be 2019 January 1st until today which is 2021 November. So to receive the historical data from MetaTrader 5 we use MT5.copyrights range where we pass in the symbol, the time frame and the start date time and end date time which we have uh, defined in the previous cell. So after we run this we save it inside bars and then we convert the results into a pandas data frame. So let's see what this looks like. So here we have a nice pandas data frame with the time, open, high, low, close columns, which we can now use for further analysis. Here, we can also visualize the data using Plotly Express. So what this uh, here does is it creates a figure object using Plotly graph objects, where we pass in the time uh, column into the x-axis and the OHLC data here. And if we run this, we then have a very nice uh, chart with OHLC data. The green, green candles represent bullish candles and the red represent bearish candles. And now that we have the data and uh, also the figure visualized, we can now proceed to looking for the three candle setups. And in this video, we'll look for three candles going uh, in a row up. So for example, this. So we see one, two, three candles going up in a row, and that would be our setup. Also, we see that the fourth candle is bullish as well. So this also is a valid setup. So these three candles would be a valid setup, and these three candles would also be a valid setup. First, uh, what we have to do is we have to label our candles by specifying whether they're bullish or bearish. And we can do that easily by creating this spe function specify candle type and if the close price is greater than the open price, we have a bullish candle. And if the close price is below the open price, we have the bearish candle. Also, I've added a case where the close price and the open price are the same. And in this case, this would be a so-called doji candle. Now to create the candle type column. So DF candle type is equal to numpy.vectorize. And here we pass in the function name and then we pass in the columns so in this case df open is representing our open price value and df close is representing our close price value by running this a new column will be created where we have the bullish and the bearish prices and this is great because now we are able to um, look for the three candle setups to do that we just need to meet the condition that the first candle is bullish that the second candle is bullish and the third candle is bullish. And we can use it with a uh, shift. So by shifting uh, the columns, the candle type, one forward, two forward, and three forward, we can then create a condition 
where uh, we know what the previous candles are. So uh, first we'll filter out only candles where the first candle is bullish, the second candle is bullish, and the third candle is bullish. And thanks to that, we can then see that if this condition is true, then we have our three candles set up. So now we have a data frame where we also have the previous close where we can also compare the result with the previous candle and that way we can also calculate the number of points if it closes above the previous close of the candle or below. So let's now also proceed to the analysis and see if we can try doing some statistical uh, computation whether it should be a good idea to buy or sell and by going down here. I also created a plot where you can see the setups by iterating through each individual row here and adding the three candle setups on the previous figure object that we've created. So here uh, we plot by using fig.addLine, uh, VLine actually, so V stands for vertical, and the parameter is this X value, which is the time uh, of these rows here. So this plot shows three candle setups here, for example, so one, two, three, and here, this is the candle we're going to analyze. We also see a setup here, so we have one, two, three, and another candle to be analyzed, and we can also see, for example, here, where buying, for example, would be very profitable, because we have one, two, three candles here, and one setup, one, two, three, another setup, so you actually uh, have a uh, Good opportunity to create a trend following strategy using uh, using uh, this analysis. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're not only going to visualize this graphically, but we're also going to compute uh, a certain strategy. And in this case, I want to calculate what if we bought uh, at the close of each uh, three candle setup, and then we would close immediately after the closure of the next candle. So for example, we have candle one, two, three that are bullish, which is our setup. Then we buy at this level, and then we sell at the close of this candle, which would be here. So we would buy here and sell here. Same here, we would buy here and then sell up here. So in this case, we have many profitable setups, but we also, for example, see here that if we bought here and sold here, that would be a losing trade. So to backtest this, we can uh, calculate the number of times where when this setup occurs and when the setup occurs, uh, what, how much would you win or lose an average? So to calculate number of setups, I will create a column count values is equal to one, and then I will group uh, the candles by candle type so if the candle type is bullish please calculate the number of bullish candle setups and if uh, the candle is bullish also uh, calculate how much uh, we've um, gained or lost so by doing this we can then calculate number of total of points gained or lost and by running this here we see that we had seven bearish setups and these seven bearish setups would have lost 0 0.0068 points on average. And if we uh, multiply points times count values, it will give us the total points loss, which would be 0 0.047. What we also have are the bullish results. So for the bullish results, we have five occurrences. And on average, we would have made 0 0.0108 points per setup. And Overall, so we would have made 0 0.054, which is greater than this value. So if we went long on each setup on your ESD, that would have generated some income. So here we have also some bar charts. By the way, I forgot to import the plotly.express library because we will need plotly express here. So for this, I will import plotly.express as PX. And now this cell should be able to run without any issues. And here we have the bar charts, so we see that we have many more uh, setups that end up bearish. And so again, seven here and five here, but the bullish setups would have still made more points, which is here represented in the bar chart. What we can also calculate is the cumulative sum of points to see how the strategy would have developed over time. 
and here I just need to define the cumulative points which is summing up each points one by one and by looking at the profit curve of cumulative points we see that at the beginning of strategy in 2019 we would have lost some money in the beginning and then there was a big uptrend that would have generated some profits uh, visually to see what it looks like it is this period here so let's uh reset the axis we see that we have some losing trade here some losing trade here some losing trade here but this entire period here would have made a lot of profit so it is good way to a good way to see that uh, sometimes profit come in a very quick period and you just have to hold out until this period comes and at last uh, here you can also export your Jupyter notebook in html if you want to and also view it offline uh, of course i believe that you're also interested not in a euro usd but testing other time frames so you can run this analysis for any other symbol right so if i want to analyze xau usd on the daily charts right and i for example only want to look at the setup for 2021 this year and let's for example run this strategy and see what results we get on XAUUSD. So we run this again and run this. So what we did again is requested some historical data and then we will plot the data uh, here. So now the data frame uh, is out. Here we have the price on gold. Here we have gold more or less ranging this year as we can see it's going up and down. And we see some, you know, uh, on the small time frames, uh, downtrend and uptrend and then etc but uh let's actually uh, also run the rest to see how gold would have performed uh here in this case and what we see for gold for example is that we had uh, 14 uh losing trades and then the average trade would have lost 10 points for a minus 147 points total we had 18 profits with uh, the profit of 7 and 129 profits in total. So what we can see here, for example, is that the setup, these setups on gold were not profitable. And you can also see these setups here on this chart. And this is the profit curve if we scroll down here. So what we see here is we have some profits here and then losses down here. So far, we have tested the setups on EURUSD weekly and XUSD daily and we have the ability to test this on infinite number of markets time frames and time periods so i hope that now you are able to download the notebook and test uh, these situations historical events yourself and in case you find something interesting some sort of edge with application of other indicators or filters maybe it will be helpful in the future to write your own algorithmic strategies I thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and I'll be back with another video very soon. Bye.